Inside this box is everything I'll need to upgrade this Dell Precision T7500 to an SSD. Let's get started. Well, let's get started with an unboxing. First, we have the 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD 850 Evo. Next, I have three and a half inch to two and a half inch drive bay adapter. So the SSD can fit nice in the T7500. And last, but certainly not least, I have a SATA 3 controller card because my Dell T7500 only has SATA 2 we can't take advantage of the full speed of the SSD luckily this card ought to do the trick I have this empty box so let's get started before we crack open this machine let's do one last benchmark on my current hard drive setup and we will see what improvements we get and these are the results pretty much I'm not terribly impressed with the results and mainly for a reason that is that these are two hard drives in RAID 1 configuration and in theory you should have double the read speed and well to put things in perspective I have an external hard drive connected to USB 3.0 that exceeds all these speeds right now all right let's just go ahead and shut this down and we're going to upgrade it with an SSD. Right away, I want to take a look at the SSD. Let's see what we have. We have the SSD right here. It's incredible how lightweight this little thing is. Wow, this is as light as they say it is. And here it looks like we have warranty information, installation guide, and the disc with software on it. Up next we have this, which should be an adapter to install the 2.5 inch SSD into a 3.5 inch form factor so it will fit in those nice drive bays of the Dell Precision T7500. And uh, we have the adapter. What else do we have? We have screws. Good. And finally we have this which will allow us to use this SSD to its full potential. It includes SATA cables, nice. And of course we have the card itself. This is a PCI Express card and it has two lanes on it. So we will be able to use this SSD at full speed which is important because the Dell Precision T7500 only has SATA 2 and that is a problem. However, this card will give us SATA 3. Oh, well, one more thing. It has this uh, disc with drivers for the card in it, which I'm told pretty much never ever use under any circumstance. Pretty much seems to be the consensus of the review is that these driver discs are terrible and they make things unreliable and slower or whatnot. I don't know. I may put that to the test, but for now, I'm going to float with default Windows drivers, see how this thing rolls out. And if it's at full speed, then I guess I won't really need that disc anyways. What else we have? Uh, low profile uh, mounting bracket. There is nothing low profile about this workstation. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, um, a yellow piece of paper. Oh, it's a warranty. Okay, good. Uh, user manual. Yep. Okay. Looks like we're all set to go. Well, let's go ahead and get started. These are the two hard drives I've been running since I got the machine and they're set up in RAID 1 configuration and as for hard drives are concerned they seem pretty slow so I'm definitely excited to upgrade to this SSD. 
Well, I've poked around here a little bit. I've taken a peek at things, so I kind of have an idea where I want to put it. I do have one port up here. It's a PCI X4 slot. That will do. I think I will put it right here. And then hook up my SSD up on a bay above. Okay, let's try this out. If it's just like before, we gotta remove one of those things. Like that. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera, sorry. It's hard to work and get this on video at the same time. As you know, those things just push back. There we go. Alright, I see that free spot right there. Let's get it in. Okay. That installed rather easily. I do love these things on this machine. It makes it pretty easy to snap and go like that. Okay, well, that part is installed. Now, we'll use these two uh, SATA cables. I'll just use the one because I don't got one SSD. I'm just going to hook it up there to have it ready to use. Sorry, it's hard to see what I'm doing and get this video at the same time. So the jump cuts will be my friend. There we go. Got the cable part installed. Watch, I'm gonna mess this up like three times at least. I always have a hard time getting this stupid blue thing back in. Okay, it's probably not called the blue. Still not the, ah, click a success. Next, we'll install the SSD in one of these bays up here. Yeah, I'm going to set up the whole SSD and the bracket thing outside of the machine, but first I'll need one of these. Interestingly enough, it seems like there are two places you can install this SSD on this adapter bay. There are screw holes on the bottom, as you can see, and there are screw holes on the side, as you can see. And there are holes for those accordingly. Put it there, or we could go up on the second rack and go up here. You could actually, I think from what I read, you can install two of these uh, drives in this form factor in this adapter, but I just need it for the one. Oh, I think I'm going to put it this way to keep it from having a little more air circulation underneath. Let's just give that a shot. Just found out these are needed. They are special for this drive bay. Just, uh, just go in there apparently and hold the drive. Not gonna lie, these things are pretty weird. Very awkward, but I guess kind of convenient because it doesn't involve using screws or anything. There you have it. Unfortunately, that SATA power cable was being pointlessly difficult, so I just kind of, uh, put that in there off video here now the last thing to do is to get this SATA cable in it's another one of those 90 degree bracket things stupid angled SATA pain in the ass oh, come on don't make me jump cut don't make me jump cut you in there I will jump cut you in there god help everything's nice and not a pain in my ass there. Hopefully, with any luck, that will hold it. And now I gotta manage some cables and you know, get them out of the way or whatever. Okay. That is absolutely enough for now. Hopefully. Hopefully, that takes care of everything. Let's go ahead and power this back up. Okay. I am booting now and I'm trying to get into BIOS. Integrated rate exception occur it is in state degraded. Ah, I don't like the sounds of that. What are you doing? Huh, okay. Okay, it looks like it does detect it at boot. That's pretty important. Oh good, it's starting. Well, I just need to get my data off of it, then I can nuke it. It will become very expendable at that point. 
Well then, I suppose, let's go ahead and install this. Okay, let's go ahead and install this. Alright, there's the installation guide. We just did that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, let's install them all because I'm going to need to migrate. And the magician is pretty magical out here. Ha! There you are. I agree to the TLDR even though I didn't read it. Let's go ahead. Okay, what's going on now? I am getting impatient. I'm gonna crinkle this wrap to ruin this video. It looks like it has finished installing. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, this has a lot of information. I do enjoy this. This part's important here. This is good. It notices that it's connected to SATA 3. Apparently, I forgot to install the data migration software, so let's go ahead and agree to this TLDR without reading it. Okay. Wow. Uh going somewhere with this? Did, did it move? I, I can't, I honestly can't. Oh wait, there, it woke up. It's doing something, or at least it's trying to. Yep. Cool, cool, do what you need to do, and good. Right? Ah, uh, sure. Wow, this is some pretty uh, heavy stuff then. Wow. Now take your time. Oh. Be here. <sighs> uh, oh, oh, right. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I almost fell asleep there. That update took a really long time. Okay, let's get this done. TLDR, agree, whatever. Yep. Oh, not this progress bar again. Oh, come on. Be cool. Data migration. That's what I need. Good. Ah. Uh, all right, well, let's start. That'd be my C drive going to this. Yep, let's go ahead and begin. Warning! When cloning starts, all data on the target disk will be deleted and cannot be recovered. Also, files on the source disk that are open cannot be cloned. Please close all files before cloning. Would you like to start cloning? Hmm... Well, hopefully this doesn't have any problems since this is the operating system's running off my C drive right now. So let's just go for it, I suppose. Yep. Okay, the cloning process is well underway, as you can see here, and it's taking a while. But it is getting there. Speed seems to have picked up quite a bit. It was in like the high 20s and low 30s, but now it's almost 40, so doing pretty good so far, but I'll just be giving it some time, and once this is all done, I will do a benchmark on the SSD, see what we get out of that, and do one last benchmark on the hard drive, and then I will be switching boot devices, and we will see how fast this machine can boot. Okay, so it's pretty much there. Very close. Actually, it's totally there. It just doesn't know it's there yet. There we go. We got the 1% done. Alright, good. So the SSD should be good to go now. So let's jump straight into this. Go ahead and power up the machine. Get into BIOS and switch boot devices. Gonna go ahead and set this up. That should do it. Alright. 
Next, I want to see if my Windows Experience Index improves at all. So I'm going to need to rerun the assessment and finally say goodbye to that 5.9 subscore. Alright, but first I should probably disable my animated desktop because that's probably not going to help with the graphics testing portion. So let's just pause that and let's begin. Oh wow, there you have it. My score has improved dramatically from 5.9 to 7.9. That's the highest it will go, I believe. And all the scores remain the same. So this is a real killer system now. And now, finally, let's do a benchmark. I'm going to run the benchmark first on my old hard drive. Results should be somewhat like before and then we'll run the benchmark on the SSD. Yeah, this test has taken a while. Write speeds will probably be half of what I've seen there. Well, not quite that bad, but considerably lower. The read speeds actually used to be a lot higher, but the BIOS is telling me there is a problem with the RAID. But regardless, the SSD is going to be awesome. And those are the test results. Seems like the write speeds are a little faster than before, a little different. Now let's go ahead and do the test on the SSD. Now we're talking. That is significantly faster than the hard drive, especially for the 4K tests. Now that is some serious write speed right there. Excellent. SSD is quite a ways faster than the hard drive. Those are some impressive speeds. That is it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helps you in choosing the best hardware for this workstation. This SSD has given me great performance since I've installed it. I've seen faster boot times and programs open in a snap. My most powerful machine just got a bit more powerful. If you like this video, you may be interested in my first video about this workstation. I also have a video that will show you how to cool this machine better by speeding up the fans. If you'd like to know where I got all this shiny new hardware, click the annotations in this video. There you'll find the SATA 3 controller card, the Samsung Evo 500GB SSD, or the 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch drive bay adapter. You can also find links in the description. Well, that about wraps things up. Thanks for watching. Watch, I'm going to mess this up like three times at least. I always have a hard time getting this stupid blue thing back in. Okay, it's probably not called the blue thing in the manual. It's probably called a PCI Express Card Support Holder Thinger thing. No, it's probably not called that either. But regardless, I always seem to fail to get it back in. That's not what she said, by the way. Oh, right. Let's get this back. Again, jump cuts are awesome because I can just make it look like, ta-da, I did it the first time right in one second. You know, that's totally not what really happened for the record. Okay, okay, I think I feel it going in. That's what she said. Okay, is it, is it, is it in there enough? No, no, that's not the click of success. There is always an audible and feelable click of success where it goes click and it's awesome. Oh god, suck at this. You little <laughs> This is why I don't take you out to play very often. Because when it comes to packing in, you're always such a little <laughs> about getting back in there. Ow, my phone actually is hot enough to cause slight discomfort. Ooh, I should have not touched the graphics card directly. Still not the... Ah, click a success.